tools that you'll need to change the engine on your sniffer. A pair of vice grips to hold your shaft, 3 8 inch wrench, a half inch wrench, a half inch socket, a 9 16 socket, a 3 8 socket, and a ratchet. Now let's get to changing our engine on the sniffer. Today we got this Snow Tech snow thrower that's probably about five years old now. And the engine just went to poop on it. It's just not worth fixing this engine. Because you can't buy parts for it. I couldn't find any at least. But today we'll be switching it out with that Predator engine over there. It's a six horse engine from Harbor Freight. That's for like 99 bucks. We'll just switch it on here and we'll be right back. On this side of the machine, we gotta remove this bolt here. And there's a bolt hidden right here that you gotta remove. There are three eighths. So we'll just do that real quick. I already pre-loosened them. You just take that one out. And then you take this one out. And then you can pull this cover straight. And you can pull the cover straight up. Sometimes this part gets stuck over there. And then here's all your pulleys. Here is your belt uh, guide for your auger belt. This is the, the thicker one is your auger belt. And the one back here is your drive belt. To remove the bolt here, and there was one here, but it looks like that one came out. It's a half inch wrench, or you can use a socket, and you'll just take it out. And you pull your guard, your guide right off. And then you got your access to your belt, which you could just try to take off by hand there. And there's this bolt for the end on the crankshaft over here that we gotta remove. So I attached a pair of vice grips to this, this part of the pulley and just let it right down here so you can get a 9 16th socket on the end of this bolt. And you're gonna remove it real quick. And then we'll remove your vice grips and you should be able to pull this pulley right off. And then this pulley is split in two. So here's the first half of it. And then you can remove the belt off the end. And then the second part, which looks like this one. Oh, there it goes, I was stuck on it for a sec. And here's the back part of your pulley. Just goes like that. And then we can remove the two nuts on this side and the two nuts on that side that are half inch nuts, which I already loosened these and I'll just take these off real quick. All right, at this point, you'll be able to lift your engine up off. I like to remove this plate on this side, grab it, lift it up, get it under the bar and take it off. And I'll put it on the bar. And there's your plate with all the studs. They're connected together. Well, these two are and these two are. For your mounting, and you don't have to worry about the falling through the plate. On my right and your right is a six horsepower Predator engine made by Harbor Freight. And on the left is the original six horsepower engine made by Aaron's for the Snowtech snow thrower. They both have the exact same mounting pattern, the exact same size crank, which is three quarters of an inch. They all have the exact same crank length, 
but the threads and the shaft are different. Now we're gonna drop the spreader engine in. Got off my foot pitch. Get under the bar to change your position of the chute. Get the studs lined up and there you go, it's dropped in. And we can put our locking washers on and our four nuts and we'll be good to go. So these holes are the same thread. The crankshaft took a 12 millimeter uh, bolt, fine thread bolt, while the Snowtech engine had a 916 fine thread bolt. But it shouldn't affect performance. And I found that bolt, it was down in the uh, belly pan. I had to flip this up on its nose and take it out. So now we can start putting our pulley back together. So this is one side, you see the tapered side comes out and the flat side of the flange goes towards the engine. Just goes on like that. You can grab your drive belt down here just to make sure it didn't fall off the bottom of the pulley. And you just gotta work it on. You gotta get around this tensioner, like that. And then we can take the other half of it and slide it on. I like to pull this tensioner back, get this belt up over the lip on the pulley, and then put it back down. And then we can take our bit, the main pulley for the auger, and slide it on there. Take our half inch, I mean, 12 millimeter bolt with the locking washer, slide it in there. And again with the So then we can put our pulley back on. The 12 millimeter bolt goes in. You take your vice grips and you can put them around here so you can hold your sh shaft from moving on you. And you can grab your 12 millimeter wrench, tighten that right up and you'll be good to go. Now we can take the auger belt, put it up over the pulley Get over this tensioner like that. Make sure it's on. Down in the belly pan. Put your belt ten belt guide over it. Put your half inch bolts back in. And I found the other half inch bolt. It fell down in the belly pan. It'd be nice if I had a uh, half inch regular socket, but I don't know where that one went since everything here likes to disappear, especially the 10 millimeters like always. Even even for me, the wrenches disappear. So I'll just tighten these up. And you're ready to put your cover back on and it'll be good to go. So now you're ready to put your belt cover back on. Just take your cover, slide it down over. And then you gotta do is put your 3 8 inch bolts back in the cover. One on this side and one on the other side. And this is what it would look like when we're all done. There's our dog. I would love to show you guys it in snow, but unfortunately we're approaching the second week of January. And still don't have no snow here in Ohio since everything changed now for us. From the first time, I stay for a long time, cause I like me.
better when I like me better when I'm with you. Mm -hmm.